What's up, beautiful souls? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Moon. Today, I got a collective love reading for you guys. So, please remember this won't resonate for everyone. We're going to find out what spirit wants you guys to know about a particular relationship. Okay, so, okay, so whoever you are, I'm getting that um, the person that you're involved with. You, I'm going to say, okay, look, you really want to hold on to this person is what I can see. Okay. With the four of pentacles, it's like you want to hold on to this person, but I'm also hearing, you know, that this person is, um, possessive, controlling or clingy. Okay. You also feel, we've got the seven of swords out here. Shit. Hang on. Something's telling me that you are picking up red flags about this person. You know that they're dishonest, that their character is dishonest. Um, they also could, could be a very clingy kind of person. But you know, like, you've either caught this person out in a lie before. Man, my lisp is really bad today. Um, you may have caught this person out in a lie before in the past or... You just know that they move in shady, bro. Like, and I'm seeing that you seem to be just in this energy where you want to take things very slow with this relationship, right? You're not in no rush, but this person, it's funny because I feel like their energy rubs off on you. So this is someone who's just like, will tell you whatever you want to hear. Like, I keep having to swallow. Whoever this person is, it's like, I'm also getting you may be holding on to something that you know. Like, you may have information that you're, like, pretending you don't know about or something like, yeah. It's like you, you aren't sure what to do with that information quite yet. Um, but I do get a sense that you care for this person for some reason. Um... I'm also getting this sense that you need a break from this person with the four swords out here. You need a break. And if anything, you guys are, even though you want to take things slow, it's like you're on the fence about whether you even want to continue a relationship with this person at this point. So let me see what's going on on their side. Okay, I'm here to get the other deck. We might have some mirroring cards come out. All right, so this person is so attracted to you. Um... They see you as somebody very, I want to say sexy, very, you may be a fire sign, you don't have to be, but they see you as someone really attractive, really passionate. And some of you have this energy about you that's really dark, but it's like magical dark. Like some of you may be like gothic, um, is what I'm hearing, like a dark empath. So this person that you're dealing with, they're kind of like, it's giving me like, like a bit of a loner. This is someone who, who spends a lot of time alone, but they feel like some kind of a spiritual connection to you. But for whatever reason, this person has hurt you recently. And I think it's because of the, the lies that they told. I'm hearing someone's ancestors are celebrating because you some truth has been exposed right like this person hurt their heart there's some kind of betrayal right when you found out whatever this is that they lied to you about and i feel like this person either recently gave you an apology or they're <clears throat> they want to apologize to you okay but at the same time you are dealing with someone very very stubborn okay this is the way that this person is coming up is like like they're wearing a mask you know what i mean and you seem to have like seen through the mask so somebody's psychic abilities is basically see like you you could be very intuitive or some of you may have gone to a, a reader or got some type of really synchronistic reading or something like that or you could be like reading tarot or psychic yourself and 
It's just like someone's psychic abilities has like shone straight through the illusions that this person was casting. Okay, so they have this very, I'm going to keep to myself and uh, be alone type of energy. <laughs> because this person is very guarded. Like they don't want to show their true face. They don't want to show their emotions. I'm hearing like they're kind of up in the clouds. We got the star and the two of cups on the bottom and this is the outcome so look uh, oh strength too look someone you're psychic you are so psychic that you see through this person's bs that's what i'm gonna say you see straight through this person's bs and even though they meet you with this like queen of swords defensive kind of energy at times where they don't show much emotion and they're very like calculated and analytical like this person is almost like hiding from you because because they know they owe you an apology. Oh my God. So maybe this person has been avoiding you or something or they've been acting different. But it's because like they know that you know that they know that you know. Like some shit like that. Like they know that you know that, that they know that you know. <laughs> whatever they lied about or whatever they're hiding from you, right? Because you're too psychic. Like you're too... You just see, you see into the light, you see into the dark. And if not, you guys got a reading from someone that has this ability, right? <laughs> like, that's the energy. Um, but let me see your energy. Let me, can we get a, just on the collective's energy? Oh, I'm getting a headache. Holy shit. Like, this person could have been giving you a headache because you have an anointing over you. I'm definitely talking to some of you definitely are psychic. Like... The Hierophant and the High Priestess, like, no shit. This person has been casting some kind of illusions over you, but you see the truth, right? Who you are is the Hierophant. You are very, 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 very connected. You have a very abundant, powerful connection to the spirit realm. Like, look how that tree is going up, right? And that's, like, into the higher realms. Like, look at it, straight into the subconscious you can read both the light and dark in people. See how many times I'm touching my nose? Like, this is a big confirmation for someone out there. So because you have this wisdom as well, it's like you're you're not in a rush like to, to get things off the ground with this person or to confront this person, right? You're just going to kind of take it slow at this point. And I am seeing that, yeah, you've got like earth angel energy. Because I actually see that you guys are going to end up, I don't know what you're going to say to this person, but I think it's the fact that your energy is so stable and secure, like you're willing to invest into this connection still with this person, but they're going to have to come clean to you, right? And I can see that they will. And this is something that's going to happen in the next four weeks if you're seeing this message. Two of Cups, the Star, and Strength. So this person and all their self-control and all their you know hiding things from you it makes them really nervous right so this person could have just been acting really weird with you and it's because they know they owe you an apology and they know that you're very spiritual i'm getting like my crown is going crazy so whoever you are you get downloads like or you've had some kind of download about this person and you will be healing this connection with this person. Like I'm seeing a, a DNM, like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you know, and it's from a place of love. And see how your intuition, this moon, is just bursting through the connection, right? Your intuition is actually going to help this person be vulnerable. With the star, that's confirmation, okay? You have magic inside of you that is going to like heal this person and heal something in their shadow side okay because they've been they've been like i'm almost getting this person has been holding back this howl right like your intuition is there like beaming straight at them like you may have confronted this person or you just may know like something tells me that they know that you know queen of cups but you ain't saying shit right the universe has spoken to you about someone's dishonesty and the queen of cups is someone who's so intuitive that they will they will um 
like you care very much, but the Queen of Cups will like hold back their emotions. So in a way, you you may have wanted to say things to this person, but you've held them back because the universe is protecting you. Like, and the universe is guiding you. So yeah, like you could have acted, what I'm getting is like some of you could have acted really abruptly, really swiftly, really quickly when it came to like this information that got exposed or could be about to get exposed. But instead, you listened to the universe. Okay, and you didn't take swift action. So there's just this very grounded energy about how you're dealing with this. And the strength is telling me, like, look at this. Like, this is this is seriously coming up for a reason, okay? Because it's like, this is that person. The moon is you, right? You got this crazy intuition just beaming straight at them. My head is throbbing over this. Right? This person has been trying to hide or lie to you for, for a while or something. And look, that snake, it's like running up their leg. Right? This person is trying so hard to contain their howl, contain their truth. And it's just about to burst out of them because they can't lie to you anymore. Like, that's what I'm getting. They cannot. They cannot. This person is going to come out. Look at this. It says peace and truce. I don't know who you are, but you one powerful motherfucker. This person cannot hide it anymore. Um, they've been fighting themselves with the five of wands. There may have also been outside influences that have been influencing like how this person is moving around you. But I feel like this could have given some of you a massive headache. Strength is out here in reverse. Like This person tried to weaken you by lying to you they tried to weaken your spiritual insight weaken your intuition by lying to you but that failed that failed we got we got there's, there's you over on your side even though this you know this person has betrayed you you know they've betrayed you but you're sitting there like with your hands crossed smug righteous virtuous about the whole situation because you got something on this person and you know it you motherfucker know it. And I'm getting, they could be kind of scared of you, gang. Who are you? You are not to be fucked with. I feel like you, a lot of people cannot lie to you. Like, lying to you is like lying to God. Bro, like, this person could have been hiding a pregnancy for some of you, right? They're hiding something about pain. Right, this is pain that they're in. Okay, so like I'm saying, people don't act like this unless they're in some kind of pain or there's unconscious pain in their energy field. So you have just so much empathy, compassion, understanding, enlightened knowledge to assist this person because it's like you're giving Earth Angel game. You give an Earth Angel. And you know that by holding back from this person and letting them kind of come to you is what's going to fix this relationship. And you know what? True wealth in this relationship, I mean, true wealth in this world is having beautiful relationships, right? we got to set boundaries with people, but like, if you can save a relationship, that's true mastery, right? That, that is true mastery. You are mastering this situation with this person, okay? For some of you, they may have lied to you about something to do with money, it could be anything. It could be a lot of things, you know, but their ego has gotten in the way because they don't want to lose. Like, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose in general, right? It's their ego that's getting getting away with this. Um, but you see straight through this person's ego and they're realizing that. And this person is so attracted to you, okay? Like, they're literally talking through the cards. So I'm seeing, you know, I feel like you guys are going to talk about this and really look at it from a, a few different angles and perspectives and you're going to heal this connection because it actually feels like someone that's a soulmate in your life and you pick your battles as a as an earth angel you know some people are not worth that investment but this person i feel like you see you see like where their pain is coming from and thief bro, like 
Exactly. I was just thinking about the codependency, like the clinginess or something from this person. Like there could be a bit of an energy thief and you're, you're going to kind of help this person move some shit around with your sacred knowledge. You're going to help this person move some shit around in their shadow self or that's light work at its finest, gang. That's light work at its finest. Some of you may be extraterrestrials. Um, let me just grab some tea leaf cards just to confirm. And I feel like pulling uh, Michael, Michael cards as well. Right? You're going to get very lucky with this situation, actually, because of your wisdom. Okay? But Spirit's saying, don't be tempted to lower your standards, right? It's like you'll be playing a different role with this person. You're going to teach them something about being dishonest, about being deceptive, um, being an energy thief, um, you know, lying, right? About doing things that are risky. And I'm seeing that this is this may be a long journey or a long conversation that you guys will have. But we've got lightning, okay? So you got to control your anger as well. So what you may find out when you get in a DNM with this person, it may make you angry. Um, but it'd probably be for a righteous reason. Okay, remember that you are an alchemist when you have this conversation with this person because it's coming up within a month. Okay, you need to be the empath that you are. Right? And not send this person bad cyborgs. Send them energy of love, compassion, mercy. Right, This is how we heal in this world. We don't judge. Because you, there's going to be a point in this conversation where you're going to be very confused. You're going to like, maybe some things are going to click together. Or some of you are going to realize this person was lying. Something about money, money, money is coming through. Evil man. So there could be a man that's been, this may be a, a man that's been manipulating money out of you, right? Because you, because you're empathic and you got light codes. So yeah, where's that Michael deck? We need to get it. So this is telling me like Michael is, Michael is definitely assisting you guys with this relationship. Um, yeah, boom, look at that. This is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. So you may actually end up going to a new level of commitment with this person. It's like you're their angel, right? You're meant to do this with this person. You're meant to open your heart. You're meant to open this person's heart. You're meant to teach this person that no one is perfect, to stop judging themselves and let your love heal the situation, right? Like you've been nothing but genuine with this person and 3322 is very significant. And yeah, you, you may be faced with a choice, okay? But no, no, no. So what they're telling me is you're going to, it's like you're going to weigh this person's heart. Is it as light as a feather? Are they going to be honest with you? This person is being tested by you. Like, and angels, right? Like, you are a big part of, it's like divine intervention. You're here to help this person develop in some way. Yeah, boom! Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see it, I'm actively working on this situation. I'm here and helping you. So, yeah, you could be seeing 333 a lot. Whoever you are, that's coming out. Also 1919 or just 19 um, or 22 or 33. So yeah, your angels are helping you through this situation. I'm hearing brave heart. You have a very brave heart, whoever you are. And I guess this person is about to, you're going to teach this person like what, what true wealth is, you know, what, what abundance really is. And it's, it's being open hearted. You know what I mean? It, that's part of it. Okay? And for some of you, if this person does, I'm hearing, if this person fails their test with you, you, the angels are going to send someone new in for you. Okay? Someone someone may be coming into the equation to assist with this, like, truth coming out as well. Look, all in perfect timing. Whether this person accepts your lesson or not, um... You will be blessed either way, right? Either with the deeper connection with this person or a brand new connection 
with a soulmate, right? All you got to do is just be the real you, okay? Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic truth or sway you from what your intuition knows, right? Go play because it's going to be okay. I love you. Peace to the Cosmic Tribe.